Offsetting a CAM profile, a past question in 2021-2022 section in RSU. From this question, basically we are given that the base circle is 50 mm. So with my compass, I'll measure 50 mm and I'll, I'll construct a circle, a perfect circle, okay? Okay? Now from the question too, we are also given that the distance from the CAM shaft to the offset is um, 20 so with 20, I'll measure 20 with my compass. Okay. And then I'll paint the center point and then draw a circle. This circle will serve as our offset circle. I haven't done that. From the right hand side of our offset circle, I will just draw a straight line. Okay. Look how the line is from the extreme like the right tangenting it exactly to touch the base circle at that at this point here exactly from that point now i have to draw 40 that 40 serve as the follower length that will give the equation 40. so from that point so basically we'll join these two parts together okay so please have protect on that line okay the first angle of ascent is 60 so i'll go 60 first then from 60 i'll go 30 and then under 60 that's ascent dwell and descent so in this I'm, I'm dividing each of these divisions into six equal parts that's that 60 parts i'll be going 10 10 degrees six times to give me 60 degrees okay the dual part i won't touch it and then this descent part that is the downstroke i'll divide into six equal parts so that's 10 10 degrees each so as so fast that i'm sorry i actually cut just that or that part of the video so from all these points that i marked i'm a tangenting these divisions to the offset circle that's what i mean okay my tangent is the line I'm touching a circle at one point. Okay, uh, so that's it. The next one, I'll do the same thing too. Tangenting. They're not all actually uh, converging at one point exactly, um, but they're just tangenting that offset circle. Please be careful while you're doing this tangenting stuff. So I'm doing this tangenting stuff to for the first um, ascent. Then for the dual part, I left it blank. Then this is the descent part. That is the outro. So I'm doing actually basically to the, um, the last division. All right, so this is how it looks like, guys. So I'm actually going to number this 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Okay, actually omitted the six points. Okay, so I'm doing this now. All right, so after doing that, I'm going to my follower. Follower is 40 as a length. So we're dividing 40 into six square parts. That's to give you about 0 0.66. That's 0 0.7 approximately. So I'm going 0 0.7 to give me six different divisions on this follower. So basically, I'm just numbering it from one to six. Okay, so having done that, here's what we'll do next. I'm going to put paper on that to avoid my compass from sleeping. And I'll pin my compass at the pivot, so that's the center point there. So at point one, I'll draw an arc from the center, that's here from there. Point one, touching line one. Point two, stopping at line two. Okay, just like this. Point three, line three. Okay, then point four, line four. Point f the same thing, so point five, line five. And okay, I skipped six, sorry about that. And I'll still do the same thing too for the other side. I'm gonna pin center from point six, okay. Point six to point six, okay. Then I'll bring to the, to the other part of it too. Something that sticks to the other part. And I'll go back to five. So from point five, I'm getting into yes, stopping at point five here. Exactly. Because here is kind of more confusing. This is exactly where you stop. Then point four to four here point three same thing so point three then point two two point two here and then point one yes that's how it looks like basically so having done that i just have to mark all those points and then use the french curve to join those points together So I've actually joined this stuff with the French cups. So I'm actually just going to finish my flow up by making this look like a knife edge. Okay. Actually, this stuff I'm doing actually doesn't have any, any measurement just to make sure that the flow looks like a knife edge. Alright, so basically this is the 
cam profile of the question thank you guys for watching today's video please remember to like subscribe and share and see you guys in our next video